Welcome to Insight Hub, the video series dedicated to the world of data and brought to you by Miracle's Data Practice. Hello and welcome to this video of Miracle's Data Analytics offerings. In this video, we're going to talk about click to R integration. This is going to be our agenda, Miracle's Data Analytics Practice, and then we are going to talk about click to R integration options. We have three options. Option A, integration using ClickSense extension. Option B, Alteryx R kit for click. And the third option, option C, executing R scripts using QVD method. Introduction on Miracle's Data Analytics Center of Excellence. We are present at 12 global locations with 100 plus data analytics members. We have done 30 plus projects with 100% satisfied customers. So click to R. At present, 3.2 version does not support R. However, Click has plans to support R in version 4.0. And R being one of the most preferred predictive analytics machine learning tool platform and this is very important in today's world for the capability to be able to integrate click in R. So three possible options as we discussed earlier integrating using click extension with HTTP API calls, Alteryx kit and scripts. Let's see each options in detail. ClickSense extension Option A, HTTP API for R. You extract the data in ClickSense app with existing dashboards with an extension which sends a request back to an open CPU with R installation. The R does all the data mining and analytics, machine learning, and sends the response back to the app to display the dashboards with our data. These are the pros and cons. Obviously, you need infrastructure for open CPU and also a lot of custom code is required at the back end. Let's look at option B, Alteryx integration. Alteryx is an ETL tool with for you for reading, cleansing, and analyzing data. And the output of Alteryx can directly be in the click format. So data sources is read by Alteryx. It does all the analytics and prediction where R is inbuilt in Alteryx. And then the output is a ClickSense file, which you can use for ClickSense app and directly open there. This is one of the most straightforward methods. No custom code required. The product upgrades are really easy. However, you have to buy and maintain Alteryx licenses. So option C may not be real, really a choice, but if you want to do it, this option, it's available. You can run a program for, from click, execute a batch script, which is going to be R. Running the machine learning algorithms, it's going to store the data in the database and then extract the data, again, back in a QVD file. This QVD then can be utilized to make sense. It's really a convoluted method, so option B is more preferable. Let's do a demo on all three options. Let's take a look at option number one, which is option A, using an extension. Here, this is the dashboard which we have created in Click. Uh, this dashboard is already existing, and using a decision tree, this request is being currently sent to R and the output is displayed on this screen. And this is forecasting based on the R script at the back end in OpenCPU, you're able to forecast. You can even change the data set and be able to change the measures. Let's get rid of quantity and add sales amount. And this is 
making a real-time call to R to be able to display the forecast. Let's take a look at option B using Alteryx. This shows the Alteryx screen in which the data is aggregated, brought in, and finally, the output is a ClickSense app. This app can directly be opened in ClickSense. So this data manip manipulation app can be open in Alteryx. Here, this is the output in a QVF or QVX, which is ClickView Exchange file. This is the app, which is an output of Alteryx. And it's all interactive in nature. And it has all the features and functions of Alteryx. Thank you for watching this video. And please feel free to contact us for further information. Thank you for watching a video on Inside Hub. The video series brought to you by Miracles Data Practice. For more videos, please visit miraclesoft.com slash insighthub.